Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel Studio Gen where I teach you about different free AI tools that you can use in your business. Today I'm going to show you how you can create free logos using this website. So I have done a video before about how to use Ideogram, but now Ideogram 2.0 is freely available to all users. This is completely free. You have 10 credits a day and I'm going to show you how we can use this tool to create your own logos. So you're going to go to ideogram.ai and you can enjoy 10 daily credits for free. So you're just going to click here on start creating and you can just log in using your Google account. So one thing you can do is go to explore and you can see all the most recent images that have been generated. And this can help give you ideas of the types of prompts you should be creating based on whatever logo you want to create. For example, I really like this cat that was just created and you can see the prompt that was used to create this. And if you like the image and want to perhaps use it as inspiration or even remix the image, which I'll show you how to do later on, you can just click on the heart here and that will save this in your liked images. So you have two options when you're creating a logo. You can ask Ideogram to generate text for you, or you can create a logo like this and then add the text later on using Photoshop or Canva or something like that. So we're going to try both options in this tutorial. So right here where it says, what will you create? I'm going to type in design an emblem logo for the old maid. And I'm going to put in quotation marks the name that I want in my logo, which is an English pub. The brand name is enclosed within a badge, crest, or shield-like shape. The design should feel traditional and classic, but also include details that represent the brand's values. Include an image of an old maid within the crest. The color scheme should be royal purple, black, silver. And now you're going to select whether or not you want to turn on magic prompt to make it even better for the AI to understand. I'm just going to select on, but if you don't want this website to change your prompt at all, you can click off. So for the aspect ratio, I want this to be one to one. I want a square size logo and I'm going to select the 2.0, which is the latest model. Now for the color palette, you have to have a pro account to choose the color. So I'm just going to click auto because I have specified what colors I want already in my prompt. You can see this uses two credits. I'm going to click generate. So now you can see we're waiting in the slow queue. So you just have to wait maybe a minute or two minutes maximum before your logo should be designed for you. So now you can see that our generation is complete and here are the logos that Ideogram has come up with. I really like this one. The woman doesn't look very old, but I still think it's a really great logo. The old maid, we've got some beer elements, the color schemes right on. Let's look at some other options. Here, this one, I really like it. Right here, obviously, we would have to erase the oil made. So with something like this, you could use Photoshop or Canva to remove this text and then reposition the woman, for example, or to add your own text. And then we have a couple other more simple logo designs. This one's quite cool. I really like this first one here. So to save or download this, we can right click, go save image as, and then just click save. And now you have your image right here. Again, you can click on the heart icon if you like one of these images. And I'm also going to show you how we can use the remix button. So if you click remix, I'm basically telling Ideogram I like this image and I want more options that are similar to this option here. So you can see they already have the prompt written out for us. You can change it up if you want. I'm just going to leave it as it is and just click remix to see what other options they're going to come up with that are similar to this one. So if I click down here, you can see some other variations. We've got this one here. This didn't follow the purple color scheme, but this is a really great image. And I actually like how they did this with the old. Here's another option. Again, this is really cool and easy enough to change the color scheme yourself in Photoshop or Canva if you wanted to stick with the purple theme. Here's one which is purple, also really cool and another option of the old maid. So these are all some really great variations. And what's great about using AI to generate logos is it gives you a whole bunch of options. And once you build your business, you can get a graphic designer to improve upon your original logo or just do it yourself using Photoshop. So our next example is we're going to create a mascot logo. So the prompt is create a mascot logo for a baking company called Pretty Peanut. Design a cheerful and endearing character of a pink peanut with exaggerated long eyelashes. 
I also am going to put integrate the brand name in a whimsical, easy to read font that complements the mascot. So once again, fill in your own information and I'm going to use the same specs that I did previously and then click generate. So you can see it's come up with these options here, which I think are adorable. We've got pretty peanut. I love the font that they've used. It's unique looking, it goes together. I like this one even more because it's connected and I just love the font. It's so cute. This one is also a really cute option and this one as well. Now I want to show you an example of a minimalist typographic logo. So we're going to type in design a minimalist typographic logo for a beauty salon named Lash Loft. Use bold block letters for the salon name, arrange to fit within a square layout. Replace the letter O in Loft with a detailed realistic graphic of an eye featuring long curled eyelashes. The logo should be in black and white, emphasizing elegance and simplicity. So change all that to the details that you want for your business. Once again, I'm going to click generate. So here are some of the options that we have. I really like the font. This one didn't do exactly what I said, but the last two, this one I really like, and this one is definitely the one I prefer the most. I like how they've incorporated the eyelashes above the O. This is sort of what I was looking for. Once again, you can click Remix if you want to try this out again and get variations that are similar to this one. Or you can just right click and save image as and download your image. So once you've downloaded your logos from Ideogram, you can make some quick edits. I'm going to show you how to do this using Canva. So go to Canva, click create a design, then click custom size, and let's just do 500 by 500 pixels. So now you can go to uploads and then click upload files and upload one of your logos. For example, the Lash Loft logo. Once I've uploaded it, what I want to do is remove the background. So you do have to have a Canva Pro account to do this. There are many different free websites where you can do this as well. Right now, it looks like there's no background, but if I click on the background image and then give it a color, you can see that we have this white border that we want to remove. So we'll click Edit Image, Background Remover, and that's going to isolate just this part for us. So from here, I'm going to change this now back to a white background or you know whatever color background you want and we can resize it and we can also add a shadow or an outline. So let's go back to edit image, then click on shadows and you could choose to add a little glow if you want. You can increase the size and the blur amount, how intense it is. You can add a drop shadow or an outline, whatever it is you want and then click share, download, and then download it as a PNG. And if you want to download it as a transparent background, you'll just have to click transparent background. That is a premium option. And then just click download. So I recommend you try out Ideogram to create some logos and then have fun editing them yourself using Canva or Photoshop. I'll see you in my next video.